And so this is what I've done. Hotney is responding to Hogarth, and I am responding to Hotney. And so I've pretty much did the same, and these poems are pretty much about myself leaving Jamaica and coming to Manchester. One. Dear David, were you to paint this slide, you should paint it brown with dots of black to recreate the stones I left after a hurricane had made the hill so soft it slipped and poured through the house above ours. We heard the dirt scraping down the road a sound like a hundred radios had lost their channels. I went outside to suddenly know that land doesn't always hold. Two. Dear David, I hope you do not take offense when I suggest what or how you ought to paint in this or that color, brown, indigo, or your favorite emergency yellow, as if I know composition more than you. Look. I know your eyes are not mine, that my eyes are not yours, but sometimes that we see things different in the world, but sometimes I lift your large work towards me as a man might lift spectacles towards his eyes. And I squint and I focus and I swear, David, I see the world better. Dear David, were you to draw my leaving, you ought to draw a car. Details are not important, except the muffler. You ought to draw that larger than the car itself. It was so loud that no one in Jamaica could hear the noise of my wrists and hips and my drooping shoulders. It was in the quiet of Manchester that such things began to sound louder. Four. Dear David, the sale of my car funded Manchester, so from slide to slide, you could draw in the corners an ever-diminishing Honda, and a man who looks somewhat like me, eating first the roof, then grinding windshield between his teeth, then picking through a salad of spark plugs and engine wires, eating his way toward the Goodyear tires.